have the three data mining techniques. So one is a frequent-based uh, data mining. But it is true, most of the, all of the data mining techniques are based on the frequency. Idea is if uh, something happens the frequently, that will be the rule. That, will be, that is the knowledge, that is the, the cluster, that will be the whatever. Okay? So that is the only way that computer can be trained. So, but so if we just uh, directly consider mm. the frequency of the rule or the relationship that is the frequent mining, such as a priori or association rule mining, or FV growth, or their barrier. So that is the first one. Then we can find the rules. So if something happens, something other. The key part of the pressure, such a association rule mining is what is the threshold value okay, when you determine. So idea and the implementation of the association rule mining is not very complicated. The main, the variance focus on how to speed up make the uh, efficient algorithm or scalable algorithm, then the quality of the data mining itself will be determined by such a mean uh, the support and confidence level. Okay. Then the next group of the uh, data mining technique is the classification. Classification use what? The labeled data. Labeled data means, uh, for example, the when I uh, train the something my children. So if this 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 happen, this is good. Okay. If this one is uh, not happen, this is not happen. This is happen. This is not good. Something like that. So I give the all the example and the result and. The my children will be trained. If this one is happen, this one is happen, this one is happen, then this is uh, good and or the okay. But if that is not uh, the included, then this is not a good the case. So something like that. I give the I train the my children with <coughs> the something labeled data, something the result, okay, something the ground truth, then. Uh, my children can be trained and infer whether this is okay or not. So something like that. So we can actually the train the algorithm using the class labeled data. That is called the supervised learning. We can provide something the solution, uh, something visual. Then the based on that, the example and the, with the many experience and the, which is called the training in the data mining technique, then we will determine the 75% of the attribute one, then 20% attribute. So then the, we have the rule to decide. It can be represented as the decision tree. Sometimes the can be <coughs> the classification to decide the problem. So that is the classification. However, the main problem of the such a classification is what if we do not have the labeled data? Or sometimes uh, it's not trained before, the how can we solve the problem? Also sometimes it's a bias to the, depends on the such a labeled data. Okay. So, it's a key point, but it, ha it is true, the classification used in a lot in the practical implementation, commercial events because it's reliable, it's based on the labeled data. But many of the case, we don't know what is the true, what is the false, what is the result, what is the class label. Instead, we just have the data. Based on the data, we need to do something. We need to classify. We need to make the group. This is good, this is <coughs> bad, this is the, uh, class one, this is class two, this is class three. Sometimes it's doable, it's possible, so when I see the, my student, it can be classified into two groups uh, based on the seat position. Okay? It's not very difficult. Uh, the intuitively, I can classify. Can we do that in computer algorithm? So that is the idea of the clustering. Clustering do not have the labeled data. Just based on the data itself, we try to classify. We try to make the group. 
that is the cluster analysis. So cluster means it's a collection of the data object or data item, data itself. It doesn't matter. So anyway, that is a cluster. Or sometimes it's called class. Sometimes it's called group. It doesn't matter. But in data mining, we usually call such a group of the data, collection of the data as the cluster. So if we can find the, such a cluster, that is the cluster analysis or cluster clustering algorithm. This is unsupervised learning. Why is it called unsupervised learning? For the data, we do not have a label. Whether this belongs to here, this belongs to there, this is good, this is bad, this is rain, this is uh, the snow, we do not have such a label data. We need to decide such a group what? Not be the mm. algorithm itself. Determine the this, this, this data belongs to the same group. This, this, this belongs to the same group. Something like that. At that time, idea is if data are similar, they belongs to the same group. Right? If they data, two data or the several data are different, they will belong to different group. That is the idea. That makes sense. Right? If they are similar or the same, belongs to the same group, or dissimilar or not related, the data will be other object. Okay. Why don't we convert uh, such an idea into the uh, number? Two dimensional data. One, two, three, four, five. We have data point here, data point here, point, and we have also data point. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, to total ten points in this uh, two-dimensional uh, data, uh, the space. Then, how many <coughs> the groups, or how many clusters can you find in this uh, data set? Two. Most of the people say there's two. Yes, it's mm -hmm. true. So this is one, this is a two. Then, according to the definition of the mm -hmm. cluster, the top, how can we understand that these two clusters? Similar means close to each other. Mm -hmm. In terms of position, they are in the similar or nearby position. How can we represent such a similarity? What is this similarity? Using distance. So we can calculate the distance between this, this, this. They are less than two, okay? In terms of Euclidean distance, something like that. And what about this point and this point? They are far. Mm -hmm. Comparing to the distance here, 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 this one is three, or the whatever. One, two, three, <coughs> the root 18, something like that. So far, that is a dissimilar. So we can apply that idea to the such a numeric data. Also, the nominal data, categorical data, any types of the data based on the same idea. If <coughs> data items are <coughs> similar, so we can consider <coughs> in the same group and otherwise different group. So that is a limitation and problem of the cluster. The actual cluster itself is a very subjective. Okay? We need to have the something cut off line, or threshold, or something the boundary, okay, to determine that. That value is not the general 
no. or optimized value. We need to have some guideline or something base. So that is the one of the drawback. But sometimes some of the researchers, some of the students, overload us too much. They expect the power of the cluster. No, sometimes it's limited. Okay, it's a subjective. <coughs> okay, so what we see such a problem in the uh, clustering algorithm? Okay, the cluster analysis means we try to find. Okay the group of the data, okay, group of the data by applying the similarity. What this similarity? Then you can make the group similar object into one cluster. That is our goal, okay? At that time, how, depending on how to represent the similarity or this similarity or related or unrelated, <coughs> how? So that is one, the very important the task in data mining, the clustering analysis. How can we represent the such a relationship or similarity or dissimilarity un unrelated the data? So using just the Euclidean distance, this is just one simple example. It can be sometimes, uh, in my research, even I propose the such a dissimilarity measure. Actually, the similarity. This similarity, this similarity measure for the trajectory data. So that's one the contribution, something like that. And also it's called unsupervised learning because we do not provide, we do not find the this the data using the this is a cluster one, group one, group one, group one. No, we don't have the such a labeled information. In classification, we provide the point A, one, one is group one. Point B, one, comma, two is group one. And point C, ten, comma, ten is group two, something like that. We provide this, then try. Then what about the zero, one? Where zero, one is belongs to? Group one or group two? That is the classification. Problem. We try to classify the, this data based on the, our experience. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, the clustering analysis does not have such a predetermined, the result, ground truth. Okay? The no observation. Mm. Okay? The opposite of such unsupervised learning is a supervised one, like the training base. Some of the data mining techniques either are both supervised and uns the super <coughs> supervised and unsupervised one. So if you apply the some of the SVM, SVM can be supervised and also unsupervised. If that is based on the training, it is supervised learning. However, if you do not use the training, at the time it can be considered as <coughs> the unsupervised one. Okay. Application. A lot. So I believe the so clustering algorithm has not been uh, the focus focused <coughs> a lot so far comparing to association rule mining. Still, association rule mining is very popular like the, to find the pattern of the project, projecting the item. So they write the something, find the pattern of the projecting or the pattern of the accessing the uh, web page. So if uh, a user is it the a dot html file probably next one is a one dot html file so click the, such a link something like that to find the behavior pattern this kind of association will mind but it's a practical use and also the recommendation so for the recommendation it's based on the training so supervised learning so we have the history of the uh, Selecting the movie, okay. We have the uh, ten thousand transaction for the selecting the movie. So, which means uh, if a user purchase this one, the watch the uh, movie like the what is it? Um, uh, Frozen 
or the something the Disney movie. If there is new Disney movie, probably the many people who watch the, this one usually watch the Disney movie. Then we can suggest the next one, something like that. But at that time, it is based on the training. At that time, for the training, we can use the many classifier. So classifier means it's algorithm, some running the algorithm. For example, naive Bayesian or the support vector motion and others so we will learn throughout the semester. So that is uh, based on the supervised learning. But the clustering algorithm, sometimes we do not have such a uh, labeled data or the ground truth instead of just a given data set. We try to find whether each group will be the good credit and which is not so we try to issue the new credit card for those who have the good credit, okay? Based on the such a clustering analysis. So it can be used even for the summarization and the compression of the data. How? So we can make the group of the data, so cluster. Idea of, of the cluster is item is the same cluster are similar or almost the same, right? Mm -hmm. So that is the idea. So we we consider data item as the attribute. So this attribute, this attribute, this one, this one, this one, they are similar. They are related. Okay? At the time to represent the relationship, related or unrelated or similar or dissimilar, we can use the, for example, the cosine, the distance measure or the sum, the covariance. So that this one belongs this, 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 this attribute belongs to the same cluster, then we can use one of them as the representative attribute. We can reduce a lot. That is a PCA. That is the kind of regulation, and that is the also can be used for association rule mining and so on. Because <coughs> when we have the many items, can we make them group to reduce the I number of items? What transaction? And also compression. So we can use the compression, the clustering technique by grouping some of the pixels. If we can make the two pixels into one, so we can reduce the 50% of the total size or something like that. And also it can be used for quantization. I'm not going to explain the details of the quantization. It will be used in the digital signal processing. Okay? So if you are interested in the uh, vector quantization or quantization processing, you can uh, the, take a look at the, uh, the signal processing or sampling so from the analog signal. And we can, we can digitize to the deeper value at the time quantization. Also, hypothesis in the statistics, hypothesis generation and testing. Okay, so statistical hypothesis, okay, something objective function, whether this is true in the data set or not. Okay, at the time we can use a cluster. Also, prediction is nowadays a very hot topic. So using this one, so this is a good customer. Yes, this is a bad customer. So then. We can credit. <coughs> Clustering itself is the credit. What? This is one of the group. This is another group. What if this one does not belong to anything? We can call this one as outlier. Okay, extreme case. Something noise data. So this one is something wrong, not normal. The cluster. I use the similar technique to identify the two, actually detect the accident from the road, photometry. If you take the photo from the top of the road, it will be like this one. So we have the, the media and lane, like the this. So if I take the identify the car, every point, car will be moved like this. Then we can make the line, the track, trajectory of the car. So 
if I the record record accumulate all the rain, it will be like this. And another one, and another one, another one. So this is the one cluster. We can consider this is a one cluster, another cluster, another cluster, another cluster. So I can find the four cluster even without train. I applying the this one. That can be doable. It's not very uh, difficult. Then if we have the input like the new car, like the this, the trajectory belongs to we are going to find the which cluster, which group this new trajectory, new car belongs to. Then if sometimes trajectory is like that, this is normal means belongs to one of this, but this one does not belong to anything. So we can say this is the abnormal situation, something accident or something other. So this is kind of prediction based on the group. However, that depends on the quality of the cluster. If the quality of the cluster is not so good, we cannot guarantee whether this outlier is the uh, problem or not. It can be used for, uh, it can be, the cluster analysis can be used for the characteristics the analyzing the characteristics of the data. Okay. Also, nowadays, the many of the cluster and the data mining technique can be used for to find the similar one, kind of the search the data. Okay. At that time, unlike the relational database model, mm -hmm. it's not possible to find exact match data. Instead, we try to find most similar one. So, for example. The if this one is the kind of the representative of the this cluster, which means this is called the centroid. Centroid. Centroid means it's a representative of the this the group. Okay. Then we try to find the top k. K is the number of the items. The top one, or top two, top three, top n the k number of items that are similar to this one. Then it can be used for searching, an efficient search. Instead of searching all the, the data set, we can first find the cluster that belongs to, then search the neighbor. So finding k nearest neighbor, k n. You probably see a lot of k n. So K nearest neighbor is based on the similarity, not exact match, unlike the relational database. So that is a K nearest neighbor. So it can be used for. And also outlier. I mentioned the outlier here. The outlier is far away from the any cluster. So now the, it can be the focus. It, nowadays it is focused on outlier detection. It's one of the research areas in the. Uh, data mining and the database system. The practical implementation of the uh, uh, practical application that utilizes clustering is a lot. Okay. Really, nowadays, if you read the technical paper nowadays that you read the any types of the data, it is hard to find the paper that do not use the data mining technique. Actually, but many of them use the frequent pattern or such a uh, well of the classifier used in the classification but nowadays such a uh, clustering analysis is a very very uh, important okay you can see the only application that is not mentioned here is social media data okay. social media data also used a lot for this but uh, it is true so far many of the uh, data mining techniques that are based on the social media data, they use classification. So, uh, the training based classifier, especially the naive version. Okay? So that is true, but uh, still we can use the such a clustering algorithm to analyze the data. Okay. 
Then this is a basic step to develop the clustering. Okay. Mm. Uh, after break, so we will continue the 